in conclusion today. Josiah was eight years old when his daddy died. He reigned 31 years. The Bible tells us he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He walked in the ways of David. He did not decline to the left or to the right. He was a 16-year-old teenager when he began to seek the Lord. He was 16 years old when he, on his own accord, sought the Lord. He knew he was king. At age 20, he broke down the altars of Balaam that his father had set up. At age 26, he made major repairs to the house of God and he raised the funds for the church. He paid all the work when he brought about a new budget. Josiah started the back to the Bible movement when they were cleaning the church and found the scriptures. Josiah paid. He brought back the priests, the Levites, the singers, the musicians, the ushers. He brought the workers back into the temple to work. And the Bible says there was no Passover like he celebrated since the days of Samuel the prophet. The Bible says he is the one that caused a lot of things to happen. In his 18th year of reign, he kept this Passover. He was 26 years old when he did all these things to unite Israel under the mighty hand of God. Don't tell me that the 21-year-old can't do it. I was 21 years old when I started West Coast, 23 years old when we incorporated the Henry L. Poet Evangelistic Association Incorporated, 25 when we had our first national tour, and 26 when we had our first international soul-winning crusades in Jamaica. All the good, out of all the good Josiah did at 16, 26, at age 39, he didn't mind his own business. He had done everything right, didn't turn to the left or the right. Then King Necro, a Necro of Egypt, came to war against King Nebuchadnezzar II, the Babylonian king. And Josiah came out to fight him in a battle that wasn't his business. King Necro said to him, he said, let me send my ambassadors to you. And he asked him, what have I to do with you, you king of Judah? I didn't come out to fight you. I came out to fight the house with which I have war. For God has commanded me to make haste. So forbear from meddling with God who is with me that God destroy you not. And the king of Egypt did not say, I will destroy you. He said, God will stay out of other people's fights. Stay out of other people's wars. Stay out of gossip as you read this morning. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. So many people have gone astray and have been captured by the devil at his will because they wouldn't mind their own business.